It's cooler tonight after a cold front came through earlier this morning. We have dropped into the 70s for highs today and we're going to make it into the 40s for this evening. Getting a little cooler as temperatures drop down to about 44 in Jefferson City. We're down to 49 at the Lake of the Ozarks and even cooler farther north. 44 in Mexico and 45 in Fulton as we go into the morning. Looking at a lot of sunshine again for tomorrow. It's going to be another mild day as temperatures warm even more into the 70s. We should make it up into the mid 70s for highs, but it's going to be breezy as those winds pick up from the south up to about 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. So really going to be windy during the afternoon, but even more on Wednesday as those winds pick up. We'll see gusts anywhere from 30 to almost 45 miles per hour, and that will help the temperatures climb on Wednesday into the 80s. But I'll be tracking some big changes by the middle of the week. You'll see some cooler air off to our north and west. That'll start to dive south as we approach early Thursday as temperatures fall from the 80s on Wednesday to the 60s on Thursday and then by Thursday night as winds start to die down there's a chance we could see some patchy frost in a few areas. That cool air continues throughout the weekend. It doesn't look like it's going to be moving too much even as we approach next week. Here's what it looks like hour by hour of future track starting out tomorrow morning in the 40s and 50s and then by the afternoon we're warming up fast so those winds we get back into the upper 70s. Wednesday going to be a breezy afternoon starting out at about 50 warming up into the lower 80s and as our cold front arrives we're going to see more cloud cover going into Thursday much cooler temperatures and potentially a chance for a few showers in the morning. By the afternoon though we only make it up to about 60 degrees and that's where we on, are on Friday too but we're going to be starting out the morning in a few spots near freezing especially north of I-70 so we'll be watching for any patchy frost in those areas. Over the weekend, we start to warm up just a little bit for Saturday back into the upper 60s. And by Sunday, I'll be tracking another front we will be in the low 60s with a chance of a few showers on Sunday into Monday. So some big temperature changes, especially after Wednesday. Fall returns as we go from the 80s to the 60s in 24 hours.